guys welcome back so we're on episode i believe 17 now so got quite a bit of work done on the wall last episode we got this little section built i'm really happy how it turned out and i have been thinking about the um corner pieces and i think the best thing to do is just to kind of build like a little towers uh, that will give us um, a little bit of like an area to work with and it will also fix the roof issue so I think that will be the best thing to do now we're pretty much not going to be working on the wall until after battles I think that will be the best thing if there is a situation where we can like a little time window that we have a few days to work on it um, I think one of these sections took about two days so um, you know for this it might take a like less than a day or whatever to finish this part right here but we'll still need to build this part for finishing the that part of it uh so there there will be there there's going to be a need for um actually like the bricks and stuff too right so but we can at least get that started and i was also thinking about other ways of making money rather than selling direct crops to maybe make some meals and then ship those um, those are generally better to do during the winter though, because then we don't need to worry about, uh, spoilage and stuff like that. So we might want to expand our, um, pantry to include that and get some things. It doesn't look like we have any wine left either. Uh, what is this for? Is this for wine? Food? Stimulants? Yeah. So we don't have any left why is that the case can you be making it oh I have it on pause well that explains it okay so we'll we'll enable that and then they can start making that I guess I wasn't sure why <laughs> I'm just like why are we out of booze all right well that explains it all right I'm gonna actually move this a little bit forward too so we have a little bit more room and it looks like we got meat here um, yeah so what I'm thinking is we'll probably dig out a little bit more this way. I know the river's over here, but we should be able to, um, you know, make a little bit more room and we'll get them to uh, dig that out. Now, we have a few different options. We could just leave this kind of like that and we'll just mine out an area. I think that might work. I'm not sure what the temperature is in here at the moment. It is five Celsius.
we had a little bit of a hailstorm, uh, damaged some of our crops and stuff like that, but uh, they should be fine to replant. Uh, we'll get some of the other people in the day shift to do that. Um, we do need to get the flax going, and we're also going to need the herbs as well, so we'll get those, get people on that. Actually, that's right. We were going to um, go ahead and actually get people to plant those beetroots and stuff first because it's uh, spring, so we'll set these up. Um, let's see here. We'll disable that. Perfect. All right, so that will be good, and then we can um, basically work on this. Now, basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing a little test to see if... Um, because I've read on some of the uh, forms and stuff like that, using stone bricks or bricks and stuff like that can actually help with the um, temperature. I'm not sure. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but only had a, like a 3x3 three three area. So I'm going to try to um, basically have the stone blocks flooring around here. And... We'll go up to this point here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this part in around here with uh, the walls like stone brick walls and we'll see if that actually helps with the insulation uh, for keeping things cooler because I know insulation can also help keep things cool but also keep things warm if it's not moderated properly so I'm not sure if that's the same thing in this game or not um, so I'm gonna give that a try and we'll see if that works if not we'll just like remove it and put dirt back in and let it do its thing I guess but um, like the tiles here it says thermal insulation 0.8 where brick walls and stuff like that I'm not sure if we have some brick walls we can mix look at let's see here this is 0.85 so if we make in a complete enclosure uh, we might be able to keep things cool. Uh, that might require digging uh, upper level and filling that in with like bricks or something like that. I'm not sure just yet what I want to do. Um, we might need to fill it in like completely. So I'll see what we can come up with with that part. We might need some supports and stuff too. So we'll see what we can come up with. but. Uh, let's see here. I want because I didn't mind the whole thing out because I wasn't sure if I wanted to uh, go this.
All right, so this is actually really interesting. Uh, I've been keeping monitoring the um, storage room, and I have noticed that when a settler comes into the room, it does warm up the um, actual area a little bit. But uh, with having the extra insulation, it's kind of a little bit different with the stone bricks because it's always a little bit few degrees under what the regular dirt one would be. It looks a little bit better, but as you can see right now, like with the the night over here, we, we have six Celsius outside. If we scroll down into the here, we can see that it's ranging between like two and I would say like 1.7 uh, Celsius, which is pretty cold. And now this is during the night. Now I've seen it go up to, what was it, like two point. I think 2.9 or something like that, which is still lower than what the this room is during the day. So, and this is like directly exposed to where the 20 Celsius was up at the top here. So I'm almost wondering if it is beneficial to replace the, um, the rooms and just make them more cooled like this. Now, if we were to add additional um, ice blocks in here, we could possibly even drop the um, temperature down even further for early spring and maybe parts of summer. So I'll have to try that probably next uh, winter and we'll make some ice blocks and we'll see if we can't store them in here. Um, we can actually do that right now by uh, zoning this. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go to, I think it was materials manufactured and there should be ice in here so ice block so we'll make sure that this is set to high and then ice will be transported here as a priority and hopefully that will be enough to cool down the uh, thing during the spring and uh, what I'm going to be storing in here is lavish meals so basically any lavish meals that we produce which I am adjusting our uh, production system a little bit more I have the um, uh, what do you call it? The system here for producing basically the um, meals that we wanted for our regular settlers. And then what I'm going to do is use this for the lavish ones because we can actually produce that here. So hopefully that will help a little bit more with our production line. I need to make sure that all the system is set up and cross over the settings and make sure everything is correctly aligned because there might be some stuff in here we don't want to actually use so um, I'll have to take a look at what we got and what we need to do Alright guys, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We survived that uh, hailstorm, which uh, we allowed 
were able to get through and um, harvest at least some of the plants. Uh, I adjusted some of the schedule stuff, or not schedule, the uh, task management jobs. Uh, so we have a couple people harvesting now and a couple people planting. Uh, these are 25 and like 25 plus so we should be able to get most of these people able to plant most of these things i think this requires like level 25 so most people that we have will be able to garden anywhere um because that's like the highest one um what else did we do i took down that old church for the oak brethren so we were we have a spot to build for the new one and uh, I'm still need to give it some thought on how I'm going to be basically building it, but and out of what materials, etc. But um, I'm thinking about two story possibly, and we'll see what we can come up with uh, for design wise. Um, I want to leave a little bit of space on the edge over here for you know some plants, trees, things like that. Um, that will make it a little bit nicer. I've stockpiled what wood we did use for it over here, or what we got at least back from it. And uh, that way we can easily um, have resources and stuff there to build. Um, as far as the garden parts uh, for down below, uh, we also got the um, storage room all set up. So this is doing good for temperature. It's 2.3, and then if we go over here, it's like 3.5, uh, 3.4, 3.2. It's a little bit colder towards the bricks that we get. If we go over to a, a room further away, we can see it's like 3.8. So it's actually pretty good for temperature. It's a little bit better. Uh, when we get the ice all set up, I think that will be really good for um, storage. So we'll have to definitely improve our storage system, and if possible... Um, try to um, make it away from the kitchen as well so we'll try to build it a little bit more over underneath here rather than uh, directly under the building and I think that will help with the heat distribution a lot as well outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I have a discord server uh, link is in the description and I will hopefully see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out mm -hmm.